change. He is Mike Goodwin. What would you do if you win this million dollars? I'll buy those shoes, Terry. I would oh, get those these? Shoes. You can see your face in it, Terry. <laughs> you can save in those You're shoes. <laughs> Tell us about you, Mike. I'm a former vet, Army vet. Thank you. Thank you for your service. But now I'm trying to do stand-up comedy. They taught us nursery rhymes. Ten little monkeys jumping on the bed. Then it was nine little monkeys. Then eight little monkeys. Then seven little monkeys. I'm like, when is this doctor gonna call Child Protective Services on this woman? This woman is clearly overwhelmed by these children. I was so determined to be successful for my family. You've got four yeses. Congratulations. I really want to make it to the live shows. I want my chance to win. And let me on the stage. I'm ready to go. Let me get to the people. So I have two kids, I have a 14-year-old daughter, and I have a 10-year-old son that I smell them before I see them. Yeah. <laughs> My son wakes up smelling like a karate dojo. I'm like, hey, son, why do you smell like you worked third shift last night? And their childhood is tremendously different from mine. If they have a question, they can Google it. I couldn't Google stuff when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I had to go to the Encyclopedia Britannica. And I was a weak little kid. So I couldn't pick up the encyclopedia to tell <laughs> So I had no information. I remember when I didn't know how to spell a word, I would ask my mother, you know what she told me, look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> I used to be like, mama, I don't know how to spell the word. Y'all, I spent four weeks in the ales looking for elephant. I was like, uh, <laughs> mama, I don't. I don't see anything about an elephant. I see leprosy and I see licorice, no elephants. I blacked out looking for pneumonia. I was like, this is not a real word. The other thing is different. It's expensive to pay for my son to play sports. I paid $300 for him to play flag football. That was a waste of money. His team went defeated. <laughs> they won no games. Actually, they tied one game, and my son came home super excited, hopping around like, uh, 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 uh. I was like, hey, man, what you so excited about? My son was like, Dad, coach said that whenever we tie, it's like both teams won. <laughs> I was like, no, son. Coach lied. The score was 0-0. Zero, zero. You both lost, son. So I was like, Dad, coach said it doesn't matter whether you win or whether you lose. What matters is if you have fun. I was like, son, I didn't pay $300 just for you to have fun. I need some wins. I need a return on my investment. I need profit. You know how to spell profit, son? Look it up in the dictionary. Hey, thank y'all so much. My name is Mike Goodwin. Y'all be wonderful. Mike Goodwin! <laughs> hey, hey. Mike, look, it has been a minute since the auditions. How's it been waiting to hear if you made it to the live shows, man? Uh, you know, it's been weird, because every time I get a California number, I think it's AGT, uh, Terry. <laughs> so I, I'm like, hey, is it eight? And it wasn't, it wasn't AGT. Now, why is it important to make it to these live shows for you? Uh, Terry, it's not important to make it to the live shows. It's important for me to win. I want to win, Terry. I, I don't want to just, yeah. I don't want to just make the live show. I want to win the whole thing, Terry. Well, good luck, Mike. If you want to see Mike doing his thing back here on the live shows, vote. Tweet hashtag AGT wildcard. And